Ready? We're going to make a bracelet mold using Umu 30, a liquid rubber compound. You're going to turn a positive for your bracelet mold so that you can pour your mold. This is mixed by volume. You're going to mix equal parts, part A and part B together. So I'm going to measure and see how much I've got so I can make it equal. And I'm just estimating here. Now I'm going to mix these two together and I want to make sure that I mix them well and try not to get a lot of bubbles in so I'm, I'm more folding than mixing and I want to stir them together until I can't see the individual purple and blue anymore I'm sorry individual pink and blue anymore I want it to turn this lavender purple color While I'm mixing this up, when you make your positive, you're going to leave a lip on the end so that you can cut, and we're using a 3 inch piece of PVC pipe, to fit over that mold and then you seal it with, we just use some painter's tape, masking tape to seal that to keep it from leaking out. So this is almost mixed. See the purple color it turns. You see just a little bit of blue still in there, so I want to keep mixing. If it's not mixed well, it will take longer to cure. That looks like it's pretty well mixed. Now when I pour it, I don't want to scrape the sides because any of the unmixed residue will prevent it from curing properly. So I'm going to make sure there's not any dust or anything in my mold. And then I'm going to pour it close to the edge and just let it slowly pour in to fill up over the lip of my mold and just let it settle itself and, and you see the air bubbles coming out as I pour. there aren't any more air bubbles in it. There'll be a few on the top. It's been 24 hours. I've removed the tape, went into uh, uh, the garage and uh, took my bandsaw and cut a little slits uh, in the PVC pipe. Uh, all I did that for uh, was to be able to, I took a little hammer and uh, ended up popping it out you can see and it just makes it easier since I didn't use any mold release because this uh, you could say the uh, the PVC was disposable see and I leave uh, a nice little uh, mold okay here's the the finished product after I remove the uh, the positive out of it you really uh, don't have to use the Delrin. Uh, you can use wood, coat it with uh, uh, some type of sealant so uh, the Umu does not uh, soak into the grain of the wood. Uh, you can see that uh, it's a nice little uh, mold. I think that's about a half inch by probably uh, an inch wide.
Okay, uh, now I'm going to use a Luma light to uh, create a bracelet um, out of the new mold that I just just created. Uh, I'm going to use uh, some uh, mica powder and some Perlex uh, silver. So, uh, Alumalite, uh, this is Alumalite clear, and it's uh, mixed on a um, basis of uh, weight, not volume. And I really haven't checked to see uh, what, how much it takes, so I'm just going to guesstimate it uh, how much it's going to take for the new bracelet. So, um, I'm going to pour about an ounce and a half to give me a total of three ounces. Okay. So one to one, equal parts. Okay. Now, mix it all together. Out of the way, and then I'm going to split it in half. Well, yeah, just get a, a nice mixing of it. I'm going to split it in half here, okay? And one half, I'm going to put the mica powder again, nothing scientific with it. I'm just uh, putting a couple little bitty scoops. I probably put more than I really needed to. Uh, same way with the uh, silver pearlex. Okay, the working time is about seven minutes on the uh, the alumalite, um, and it is. It's truly about seven minutes. So I'm gonna mix it up really good. Let the powder dissolve as much as possible. Okay, it's about time to pour it. Uh, took a little break there. Give us a few minutes for uh, the Illumilite to start working. And so first thing, two colors. I have a blue and a silver. Okay. Uh, all I'm going to do is just start pouring different layers. Right. I left a little cavity in the center that I have a little extra, which was three ounces, a little too much, but gave me enough for a nice little pendant in the center. And I have really nothing left. Let's see. Drain the last little bit out. Now, generally I take Alumalite and uh, put it in a pressure pot, but uh, in this case I think I'm just going to leave it out to see, uh, experiment and see how many bubbles it does have. So after it dries or after it cures, I'll uh, show you what the results look like. Okay, it's been another 24 hours. Uh, I'm ready to remove the uh, Lumilite uh, bracelet blank from the mold I created the day before yesterday. So the mold's pretty flexible. Should be able to just reach in and pull it out. I didn't use any mold release or anything on it. You can use a, a method. Uh, what I do is I put this in a uh, Nova Chuck. Um, grasp on the inside. Turn the outside and then I use cold jaws to grip it so I can turn the inside and just finish it uh, just like you would a pen with a little light. Then we got the little uh, pendant blank. Nice little pendant blank flat on the back. 
that should do it. Uh, I'll have a, uh, a list of uh, all the vendors uh, at the end of the video.